Hey guys, good morning. Long time no see. Well, the boys just went to church with my friend and I'm about to go to, I don't know why I've had like this lingering feeling like I have to go to Tuesday morning. I haven't been to Tuesday morning in months, but something keeps calling me over there. So hopefully it's for a reason. If not, then oh well the world, right? But um, I really didn't have any t intention of going shopping. Anyway, so I'm going to, right now, I'm about to feed the chickens. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. Stampin' Up 2001 Florals. Please come RSVP. And then how are things stacking up? And then the little teacups or teapot. And then this one is kind of like sentiments. 2001, $1.99 each one. It's actually pretty good. Especially Stampin' Up. This one's vintage, according to Etsy standards. And 2000. So I don't know if it's to anything before 2000 or 2000 and before that applies. Cute. Here goes a familiar pattern. This looks like the blue willow, but I don't think it's, I don't know if it's very old. There are three of them with no markings and there's no crazing. So they look kind of new, maybe like a replica. They're pretty though. Now these are very intriguing, very pretty. Might look into these because for 99 cents, I mean, they're pretty either way, modern or not. I think my friends would like these because she really likes blue. That's so pretty. The serving spoon set. It's nice. No way. 99 cents for two, four, six, eight butterfly gold Corel plates. Saucers. Don't mind if I do. And it's really cute. 
I love the color pattern. The only problem is it's not vintage. It's 2005 for two bucks. I think it could go on. It's really cute Christmas colors, green and red. Oh no, what do you think? I think it's adorable. For two bucks. So, Tuesday morning doesn't open until 11 on Sundays, so that's why I went to Goodwill first. Unfortunately, Tuesday morning was a bust. I wasn't feeling it. There was nothing I really wanted. I think the only thing I kind of felt drawn to was wanting some maybe liquid inks or sprays or ink pads or something, and that was like the one thing they didn't have. So... I didn't get much of anything. I did get a Tim Holtz sidekick and a couple of embellishment cards, but that was pretty much it. That was that was all I got. It was I had more fun at Goodwill. <laughs> but of course, as always, they do have a ton of affordable craft supplies, awesome little embellishment goodies, lots of tools. They had a lot of stuff, but a lot of it I already have or I can live without, and I just decided to leave it there. I only grabbed the few things that I grabbed. Okay guys, so I have no clue where my tripod is. I took it to take a picture for a tack one day at the gym and then I haven't seen it like since. And I know I brought it home. I don't know, I can't find it. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what I got. I spent 20-ish dollars on the goodies that are gonna go into the Etsy shop. So let's go ahead and take a look really quick at what I picked up at Goodwill. Okay, so starting off are some adorable kitty goodies. So I made a kitchen a while back in my vintage game space. I've talked about it several times in several different halls um, because my friend's daughter comes over here. We have all boys, she needs something to play with and she's so adorable and I wanna get her all the things. So I made her a kitchen and I'm constantly looking for new little pieces to go in there, especially wood pieces. This is so freaking cute, guys. It was only 99 cents. It is literally a wood toaster. How sweet is that? So how it works is there's this little lever inside and when you push the toast down, it goes down. And then the little lever pops out. You push the button and the toast pops up. That is too sweet. And it didn't come with a toast, but I think I can cut her some out of a few layers of cardboard or poster board. It shouldn't be a problem but that was just so cute for 99 cents and I'm going to paint it and get it to coordinate with our decor in the vintage game space. So adorable, got that. And then I found this. I thought this was a great, a great resale item or maybe put it in a gift stash. It's the Melissa and Doug Amazing Animals Jigsaw Puzzles. It is three puzzles, 12 pieces each, and they come in the cute little natural wood box and it has all of the stuff in it. It's never been open. And the Melissa and Doug puzzles can be a few bucks, and this one was only 50 cents, I believe. Yeah, 59 cents. So I thought that was great because it is brand new in the package. I could resell it or I could just hang on to it and give, gift it as a gift to a friend's babies or something. Anyway, next is this Stampin' Up! huge word search stamp it was only 99 cents and i think i can get ten dollars for this one it's never been used it is a very clean stamp and this one is 2006 i believe yeah 2006 word search so i really like that it'd be 10 bucks uh free shipping and then i found this huge bag of buttons it comes with the inside of the button and then the cap to the button i believe and it was $10 wherever it was sold, but I got them for $1.99. I got them mainly for my craft stash. I don't know. There's some things like this where I have no, no idea what to do with it, but I feel like in the future I could use them, and then I wind up actually using them. So this is pretty cool. All of these for 2 bucks. I thought that was a great price, even if I separate them and kind of sell them in crafting little locks. That would be cute. Alrighty, so I was super excited about this. This is the Writer Tarot deck. This was the 1971 Pocket Edition, and they actually resell for pretty good money. The only problem is, is it's not a complete deck. I could see so far that the Empress card is not in here, 
and there's one other card missing because there's 78 in here. I count 76 and I saw that the Empress was missing. Not sure what else is missing. If I can see what other decks sell for in complete or if that's like a thing for maybe people that have replaced their or need replacements for their cards or um, maybe just have worn out their other ones and would like to have some as a backup then I might be able to get some money out of this. But if not, I might have to just let it go as a craft lot or a craft box. But anyway, I could have gotten an easy 35 bucks, maybe 45 with free shipping and stuff like that. But I don't know now what those two cards are missing. This is a cutting board made in Yugoslavia. It's from the 80s. It is uh, 82 and it has this really pretty mushroom pattern on it. So adorable. I thought this was precious. Now, it does have a little age, so of course there's going to be some damage. There's these little nicks here that are kind of lightened up, and then there's this one scratch right here, but for the most part, it is in fantastic condition. It is very clean, and it was only 99 cents, and I think I could get maybe with that scratch done at the bottom, I'd say maybe $22. You can see that it was 99 cents there. $22 just because it is vintage because of the content and because of the uh, the look of it and the condition for the most part is very very good so I'd say $22 free shipping next is this it is the country herbs top and base and these are or this is the 1996 Brinker pots it's the little piggy with the wings and then this one is 1997 Brinker pots so I thought that was absolutely adorable. It was only 99 cents for the two pieces. How sweet is that? I was super excited about that when I saw it. Okay, then I found these. These are actually the Granville England teacups and saucers. They are a beautiful kind of peanut butter brown. It is really pretty. It's a gorgeous England set. Now. The bowls and the other pieces that they had were all a dollar a piece, so I decided to go ahead and go with the teacups and the saucers. They were kind of placed around the dish area. They weren't really together, so I kind of have to piece them together just by, you know, walking through and paying attention to what was in, what was on the shelves. They were 49 cents a piece for the teacup and then 49 cents a piece for the plates. So I wound up getting four and four, making that a dollar a set. Typically I do cups and mugs, and glasses that are short or small like this four for 20 and I think I could do maybe for all four of the sets for 35 I think that's fair I'd say 30 yeah $35 is fair and then of course shipping on top of that now these are some personal goodies this guy is so sweet he was six dollars I don't believe he's too old I think he's just kind of made to look old we do have some that are fairly old. We have this guy, he is huge. And we actually got two of them for $5 a piece. So this guy's quite small. He's about nine inches tall, so he's not that small. Anyway, he was six bucks. I thought he was adorable, so I went ahead and grabbed him. I love the little pop of blue that he's got going on. I love the little dark, dingy brown color that he's got as well. It's a gorgeous piece, so I thought six bucks for a personal item was worth it. I usually pay up just a little tiny bit for things that are personal items because I don't have to go through as much work to make sure that I'm getting a profit out of you know the time that it takes to find it, to clean it, sanitize it, prep it, research it, take all the pictures, post all the information, all that stuff. It's a lot of work that actually goes into listing. So if it's not for listing and it's personal, then I don't mind paying up just a few more bucks. And then I found this thing. It's a ginormous size emerald green glassware Lancaster drink dispenser. And I like that on the back, it's actually embossed with the different measurements. You have half gallon, gallon, and one and a half gallons. It is this gorgeous green color that I thought would be perfect for Christmas decor, even if whether I use it or not as a drink dispenser. I think it'd be Sorry, fantastic. Sorry guys, the hubby called. I don't even remember where I was at. Long story short, with this green drink dispenser, it is huge. It could fit a gallon and a half. It's a beautiful green color and it was only $3, which is awesome. 
I do believe it works. It has all of its working parts and I was super excited about it. So I went ahead and grabbed it and I'm going to be putting that out for our Christmas decor. And then I picked up this rolling pin. It was only 99 cents and I thought it was cute. And for some reason, I like all the old rolling pins. Super simple, self-explanatory. I found these, you saw these on the little clip. They were 10 of the Corel plates and I wanna take them apart and actually look at them for a dollar, which means they are 10 cents a piece. That is awesome. I have the little cups that go on here, but they're 10 little plates and we actually use these as snack plates. I love using these, the kids grab for them all the time. So there is that 10 cents a piece for Corel plates. You cannot beat that. And then I found this genuine leather Marco Bugiani and or bag for ten dollars. This is a personal bag. I love it. It is a great size. It's actually fairly large. It's about the size of two, maybe three of my little crossbody bags. This is so nice, guys. So it has this nice thick strap here and it opens up to the inside, which is all red and super clean. And then on the inside here, there's an under zip pouch. And then of course a coin pouch on the inside of there. And then this one is like full length, both of them, the back one and the front one are full length. And these are just pockets here. This is such a gorgeous piece. I fell in love with it. I spotted it walking into the store from like across the store. And I just thought it was so, awesome i love the fa fabric strap and then it has the shoulder strap here i thought it was great so for 10 bucks it is so like unisex it could go for a woman or a male my laptop would actually fit in here my macbook um, along with my earphone my earbuds and all kinds of stuff that i could use on a regular basis take it with me when i'm doing work in the car and the hubby's driving anyway it's a gorgeous great fantastic condition piece super clean and for 10 bucks i thought it was a definite purchase price for that so that is pretty much it for this super quick goodwill okay guys haul. so that is pretty much it for this little goodwill vloggy style trip i guess the boys are actually getting started in the yard outside the hubby's gonna be home uh pretty soon and we are gonna go have pizza at orlando's today to make life easy this sunday evening I have been working on getting my schedule together as far as posting different content again like I used to. I used to post a lot of different content. So Mondays are going to be a definite trip to Goodwill because that is a 75% off day. Tuesdays I have double classes at the gym so on Tuesdays I will probably do some grocery stuff, record that and then on Wednesdays it's my day off from the gym so those will probably be King Dollar and Goodwill Bin days. Thursdays are 50% off uh, purple bag day at Pennywise, but I haven't really been feeling that. So I'm thinking I'm going to be working something else into Thursdays. And I'm thinking Saturdays are going to be craft days. And then Sundays are follow-up days. So whatever I have to get caught up on, go ahead and get that uploaded. I have found better ways to upload because where i live i can't upload on service like my regular phone service because it's so slow uh, we live out in a, like a country area and it's so slow to upload anything so what i do is i wait till i'm on the long ride to the gym and i upload in the car while i'm on my way to the gym and it works so much faster and by the time i get to the gym i'm already on wi-fi so it just kind of shoots up into the interwebs and we have a video. So I've really been trying to find creative solutions to create content for you guys and I will be getting back into crafting more. I have a planner review that I'm doing but now with the flood that kind of got backtracked because our contractor, it was supposed to come out and do our do my doors, remove the sliding doors from my office and put a farm style door that I have on the other side. Anyway, long story short, they couldn't come. So. Yeah, that's been postponed for about a week and you know, whatever. So that being said, I am doing my best to get back into old content that I know you guys miss and want just like I miss and want. And I couldn't be more grateful for the support that you show me and my family for this time, you know, in our lives where we've been, we've had kind of like a lifestyle change shock <laughs> and doing so much work in our own house and 
all that good stuff for the past year and a half has been awesome and it's been really great having you guys with us when you can be with us and all that so that's it for this video guys i do hope that you enjoyed go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did you can comment share and subscribe follow me on instagram and my facebook group at the bates house i also have a vintage etsy shop that i will list down below for you guys as well also the bates house or actually just bates house one word on etsy you can find everything that i always talk about posting there and for now guys i'll see you in the next one bye